Hello and welcome to ACO TV. Today we have a Christmas special. Um, we'll be joined by our product development executive Ross Hayward and Daniel McKay, who is part of our technical team here. Um, they'll be answering all your questions that came through the installer community recently. And then to round it up, we are going to be giving you 12 Christmas tips. So make sure to continue watching. I'm from Technical and Ross from Product Development. We've got a few questions from our installer community. So um, they're wanting to know the best product to use in a small open plan kitchen living area. Okay, so we'd recommend in this kind of area fit in the EI3024 multi sensor smoke and heat. So this is essentially two uh, smoke alarms in one head. You've got the heat, which will cover the kitchen, and then you've got the optical, which will cover the living space. Great, thank you. And is there any difference between the optical sensors in the 3016 and the 3024? Yes. So in the 3024, where you've got the smoke and heat detector, this will be looking for an increase in heat as well as smoke. So when the, it senses an increase in heat, it will increase the sensitivity to the optical chamber looking for less smoke to trigger it. Whereas the single sensor optical will always stay at the same sensitivity. Okay. How many alarms can you have in a hybrid system comprising of hardwired, interlinked and wireless alarms? Okay, so we always recommend 12, whether it be a full hardwired, full RF or um, a hybrid system. So after 12, we'd question what kind of property that you fit in the system in and if ours is the right system to be fit in. You can, however, go over that slightly. If you had a gateway installation, the maximum would be 18 flashes for a gateway system. Um, however, maximum units, we'd say, is about 18 in a system. After that, you are going outside the scope of the product and you might need to fit a different system. Okay, thank you. So now we've got some questions from Ross in product development. Um, so any plans for developing a remote house coding unit? Yeah, so it's, it's a technology we already have. Um, so we have it across our environmental sense at the moment. Um, and we're looking to bring that out across our whole range. So to do this, we'll start with the accessories, uh, such as the I-414. Um, and we'll slowly, like I say, um, implement it across the whole range. So then that begs the question, what exactly is this technology? Um, so if anyone's familiar with fitting our environmental sensors, they know instead of physically pressing a button on the device, um, these sensors automatically connect um, to the rest of the alarms in this system. Um, so that's something we're looking to bring out across the whole range um, to take away the physical button press that we call house coding. Great, thank you. Um, another one was, any plans to change the connectors to screwless lever style? Yeah, so again, something we're looking into. Um, at the moment and looking to bring out across our new products. Um, so it's in the very early stages of develop development. So at the moment we're getting together a design, we'll then get a prototype, we'll then get that prototype out to customers, um, installers and see exactly what they think and also gain feedback on what they want to see in this product, uh, sort of quality would they want to see in this product um, and also if it's, if it's something they actually want. Um, so that's all to come uh, and like I say at the moment it's in its early stages of development. Great, thank you. I've now got some questions for the both of you. Um, what would be the goal for the next 10 years in terms of product development and technical? So yeah, I can answer that one. Um, so for me I'd say um, the goal is to expand our range. So we've started that by moving into environmental sensors um, but as more studies are done, we're learning new things every day um, as a society about air quality um, and the contents of our air and how they can be harmful to us um, when we breathe in that air. So I think we're only going to mo keep moving in the direction of, um, of air quality um, and that home life safety package as a whole. Um, obviously before we were just producing fire and CO predominantly. Um, but now I think the goal is to move into that um, whole home life safety package, as I say. Great, thank you. And then the last question is just, um, they'd love to know what you think is the best development that we have been doing in the last decade, in the last 10 years. Okay, um, for myself, I'd say it would be the gateway. So this has been a great addition to um, the units that we currently have. So no longer is it just having fire safety in the property. 
With the gateway now, we've got the addition of environmental sensors where we can look after uh, monitor air quality. Um, and now with the home life solution, this is only going to keep growing and we're better going to be able to look after people in the properties. Great, thank you. So next up, we have 12 fire safety Christmas tips for the festive season. As a minimum, ensure you have one working smoke alarm on each level of the property. Lift going up. For further guidance on where to install your smoke alarms, follow BS 5839 Part 6. Don't overload your sockets. Ensure only one plug per socket at all times and turn off when not in use. Keep candles away from children. Also keep candles away from decorations, fires and heaters. Never leave candles unattended. Turn off and unplug your fairy lights before going to bed or leaving the house. Ensure they conform with British standards and are in good working order before use. Oh, Put your cigarette out, right out. If you're for smoking this festive season, make sure you extinguish it and dispose of it carefully. Decorations can set a light or burn easily, so don't attach them to lights or heaters. As much as we like having a drink at Christmas, please avoid drinking alcohol whilst cooking and do not leave cooking unattended, ensuring all kitchen appliances are turned off. Do something good this Christmas. Test the alarms of any older relatives or neighbours. Always use a residual current device. Use it on all outdoor electrical equipment, including lights and decorations. <coughs> Always keep fireworks in a cool, safe, dry space. Always keep a bucket of water near for safety and never return to a lit firework. Ensure everybody knows the escape plan and make sure that escape routes are clear. In the event of a fire, you should get out, stay out and call 999. Ensure you test your alarm over the festive period. Merry Christmas! And don't forget to like, comment and share.